even if you don't play Marvel Snap, it's okay. For this video, you barely have to know what the game is about. What I want to talk about is this. This stupid little cube at the top of every game of Marvel Snap. It haunts me in my sleep. It's so simple, and yet it forces me to ask so many questions. I do feel compelled to explain how snapping works before I talk about it, so if you already know how the snap mechanic works, you can skip forward like a minute or so. Okay, all the snap players are gone. It's just you and me now. If you're here right now, you're a real one. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up for me, okay? So this is how snapping works, okay? Snapping allows the player to increase the amount of matchmaking rating that a match is worth. Marvel Snap calls this rating cubes, but other games might refer to it as ELO, and a lot of games present your matchmaking rating as being in platinum rank or gold rank, or if you're like me, bronze rank. By default, the stakes for the game start at one cube and increase to two at the end of the final turn, which is usually turn six. Optionally, you can tap the cube to snap, and this basically doubles the stakes. At the end of the next turn, the stakes will increase to two, and at the end of the final turn, they'll increase to four. If both players snap, then the stakes are increased to four at the end of the next turn and eight at the end of the game. Finally, since these increases only happen at the end of the following turn, you always have the option to retreat so that you lose less rating. But really the point I want to make is this. Why aren't other games copying this? This blows my mind. When I've played other games like Rocket League, Overwatch, League of Legends, Hearthstone, the matchmaking rating always feels like this terrible monolithic system that I just have to butt my head up against and hope to God that I can win one more game than I lose. It's all about clawing your way to that 51% win rate. It doesn't matter how well you outsmarted your opponents or how frustratingly close those losses were. The wins and losses are binary. You win, you gain this much rating, you lose, you lose this much rating. Snapping is a mechanic that barely adds any complexity into the game. It's basically just a button that says But it completely transforms the very polarized definitions and emotions that come with winning and losing into the spectrum of different outcomes, and it feels like you have control over how much you win or you lose. At its most extreme, you could potentially lose a eight games in a row, and then win one where both players snap and you've broken even. What other game is doing that? None. Nobody. If I lose eight games in a row in League of Legends, I am uninstalling that shit, going out to my car, and screaming at the top of my lungs for 10 minutes straight. But what I think is really interesting about this is that it's a mechanic that sits outside the game. Snapping doesn't have any effect on your cards, it just affects your rank. Look at any other aspect that makes Marvel Snap unique. Short matches, variable locations, small decks. These are all aspects which other games can take inspiration from, but they can't just lift them and put them in their own game, because they only work in the context of Marvel Snap. But the snap mechanic is not particularly core to Marvel Snap. I mean, it is, but only because Marvel Snap is the only game that's doing it. But like, other games can just steal this. I mean, this can be lifted almost without change and put into other card games like Hearthstone or Legends of Runeterra. But what about like League of Legends? What if an option to vote for a snap came up after champion selection or after the first 10 minutes of the game? Or what if Overwatch's competitive matches had a sort of halftime where you could decide as a team to double down or retreat or just continue like normal? Now, sure, it's a very different type of decision when you have random players on a team. There's a lot of possibility for toxicity and bullying people into surrendering and stuff. But mechanically, game design wise, is there a good reason for wins and losses to be so Binary? I don't think there is. That feeling of choosing to retreat because you know you're in a losing match and being rewarded for that by losing less rating is so fresh and exciting and new. In games when you snap and tell your opponent and then they snap back and say <laughs> gaining or losing eight cubes is kind of a big deal. Those matches are huge and memorable, and basically I hope the popularity of Marvel Snap catches the attention of other designers, because when I first started interacting with this mechanic, it was like, why didn't we think of this sooner? 
If you didn't know, every time someone hits subscribe, I pet my cats and I tell them that I love them. So if you want that to happen, you have to hit the subscribe button. And also leave a comment. How can other games implement this? Should other games implement this? Are there any games that really should not? I don't know. I feel like, especially for 1v1 card games, just just do it. Just, just, just steal it. I think, I think I'm supposed to say, see you next time. I don't know, goodbye or something.